All right, here we go. All right, you should have your science notebooks out, opened up to a fresh sheet. I'd like you to go ahead and write the words force and motion. Okay, and we are starting a new unit. As you can see, we have a new goal up there. Our science goal is being able to identify how forces can change objects. And that's what this whole unit is going to be about. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and do a brain dump, just like we did for energy. How many people remember doing that with energy? Great. It should be right there in your notebook to refer to if you need it. On your force and mo motion brain dump, I want you to write down anything that makes you think of force. What kind of forces are there? When have you learned about force and motion before? What kinds of words have you heard? What things do you know um, are set in motion? What do you know about movement? Okay, so go ahead and take just a couple minutes to do that. And you're just making a web. And it's okay if you only have two or three things. That's fine. I'm sure you can go trade out your pencil. I think there's a couple. This is the one you want to use? Sure. I'll do it, Jacoby. Where do you know that word from? What? Where do you know that word from? Uh, books. I just got it. Like, I was reading, and eventually I came across the word rock, and I got wood. Ah, I spoke. No, you didn't. What? No, you didn't. I did? No, oh, yeah. it's, it's correct. Good job. Okay, so as I'm walking around the room, I'm seeing that some of you have a couple ideas. Some of you have more than a couple. Um, I don't expect you to have a ton on your paper because we are just getting started with this topic. So what I would like for you to do now is you all will discuss with one another for another two minutes and just kind of talk about what you have and then we'll share as a whole group when I do um, the class web. So go ahead and share with one another at your tables. Um, of course it's like something that pushes. I did a, I did throw, car, push, run, hit. I got hit too. I did, and I pushed pull. Kinetic, potential, change, land, movement, motion, pivot, um, temporary motion, stage in motion, and so. Jacoby, what about you? So you, were, you really went with kinetic some energy. objects that's good. that move. That's really good. It's like kinetic energy, energy. Well, basically. This pen, kinetic energy. Why is that? Because it's, 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 um, it's when it, so potential is when it's just. Uh, yep. What about when? And then like the rubber band. When you swung it back and then when it lets go, that's force and motion. So kinetic energy is energy in? Oh, yeah. What about lightning? See that. What about lightning? Go ahead and put it down. How can We can't be wrong. We can modify later. Can a rock cycle... Can a rock cycle... Can a rock cycle... You can write whatever you want. Yeah, I have gravity section of the Yeah. Motion... What did you have? Energy... Oh, like Star Wars. <laughs> because you can move people with the force. Yeah, it's by the way, the main two things I got were gravity friction. 
Did you get your velocity from him? You got one of your ideas from him? Okay. You too? I noticed you have electricity on there. Where is that coming from? What do you remember about electricity? What has to happen in order for electricity to be happening? There has to be some sort of motion. What are those things that are moving in electricity? Yes, Orion, electrons. Speed and velocity are some more. Yes, yes, yes. Class. Thank you. All right. Oh, class. Yes. Thank you. All right. So now we're going to share a bit together. And if anybody had any ideas at your table that you want to include on your web, that's the purpose of this. When we're doing science or any other subject, we are, we are there to share with one another. Okay, scientists do not, do not sit in a room and work by themselves. They work with other people and communication is what makes all those ideas come out. So, force in motion, Zoe. Well, I thought of like brain games where they're dropping the watermelon and the egg at the same time, but they both hit the floor at the same time. Okay, so dropping objects fall at the same time. Okay. There's actually a guy that discovered that. Do you know who the guy, what the guy's name is? Anyone want to share that? Albert Einstein. Or is that the wrong group? We're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. We'll add on to this web, definitely. Um, I'm going to save this web and have one of y'all make a poster out of it later so that we can uh, add to it as we go through. Joseph. Kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Why? Because it's moving. Kinetic energy is energy in motion. Very good. Uh, Allison? Um, actually, both of them are alike. Both of what are alike? Force and motion. How so? Um, they both do like movement. Like if you push something, you're having. Okay, I heard a word there. If you push something, force. you're having the force. And then also motion because you're moving. Okay, so force you're saying that it takes one of them to get the other one. Yes. Okay, great. Lanaya? Electrons. What makes you think of electrons? Yeah, electrons move. Are they the only part of the atom that move? Yes. Yes, they are. What do those moving electrons cause, Orion? They cause electricity. Good. So electrons and electricity. Jacoby? A roller coaster. A roller coaster. Why so? Yes, roller coaster needs force to go in motion. Good, Katie. Um, I I put down the quote something in motion stays in motion. Okay, so she wrote down a quote that she's heard before. Something in motion. In motion. Stays. In motion. Interesting. Where'd you hear that? Um, last year, mm -hmm. I can't remember something, but they said that I think it was um, Einstein that said it. Okay. All right. There definitely was a famous scientist who said it, and you'll figure it out real soon. Go ahead, Emerson. Maybe cars, because they okay. both have force and motion in it. And what force does a car have? When... It runs on energy, okay? Do you have to push the pedals? Okay, uh, let's see, Nicholas. Velocity. Velocity, what does that mean? It's kind of like speed, mm -hmm. but it's velocity is how like something moves. I seem to remember this word from something we read real recently, Joshua. It was on our reading test last week, and we had to use a context clue to figure out what velocity was. And it talked about how the uh, person in the story had like this great velocity, and you had to use the clues to see that they were moving fast, because velocity is how fast something moves. Good. Good. Paige? Momentum. Momentum. Interesting. That's a long one. Tell me what that means. Um, like, it's what you, like, it's like the, almost like the speed or how, like, strong 
if you push something, how strong you like push it to see how fast or how forceful it. Okay, goes. so like strength in force. Yeah. Okay. Right, I see lots more hands in the air. Skyla. Um, lightning. Okay, why lightning? Because uh, it goes so fast, you don't even see how fast it goes. Like if you video recorded it, you won't be able to keep track of it. Okay, good, good. Lily? Um, some, someone at my table, they said this, and it was pretty funny to me. They said Star Wars, because in the Star Wars movie, they said, let the Force be with you. The Force, <laughs> may the Force be with you. That was cute. Well, no, it was Katie. Well, I think I know. You know what I like what Lily did? She switched gears and shared with me what somebody from her table said. Okay, it's just as valuable to hear from others as it is to come up with ideas on your own. Maylee? Gravity. Gravity. What? Why? Because um, <coughs> it's like the fo gravity is like the force that always creeps you down. Okay. And it, like, it's just the force. Uh, it is a force that keeps you down. It is an example of a force, <coughs> right? Uh, Gavin? Um, you could pull something. Oh, good. So push or a... Pull. Good. Um, what, Kareem? Friction. Friction. What does friction do? Uh, it's the movement between the two options against each other. Okay, can anyone show me? I'm pretty sure you've done this demonstration before, but I'm not positive. Uh, can anyone show me with their two hands an example of friction? Ah, super. I call that the Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> The healing effect. Uh, what do you notice is happening when you do that? Pizza. Pizza. It's getting really hot. All right, class. Yes. Super. There are a couple more people that had their hands up. Joshua, you just gave me. Or did you go? I was gonna say. You were gonna say friction, Allison, and then Jacoby. Actually, um, Emily said that um, the motion is like moving your body. Okay, moving your body. All right, and Jacoby? A motion, a motion picture. A motion picture, interesting. Because motion picture is like the, a way to say what? A movie, a movie. right. And, um, Katie? Humans. Humans, why? Because they always, um, they use words to like move. Limbs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We use things to move limbs. And last one for right now, Paige. Energy. Energy. Okay. Why? Just energy in general. Really, um came up with that one. Okay. And what what was her explaining for that? Um, she said that it was like energy kind of <coughs> causes force and motion. Great. Okay. So this is a really great start. Yes. Awesome. Just to start, uh, you're going to learn so many things during this little unit. And there's only one lesson in our textbook, but we're going to do a lot of really cool stuff. Starting with that thing. So I know that when you walked in the room, you saw this, which is not like a normal thing to see, right? No. Okay, so on a new fresh sheet of paper, I would like for you to... Draw a model of this. Remember, scientists like to use models to study things. And pretty much what we have is we have the table. And then on top of the table, we have a, um, it's a cup of water. And on top of the cup of water is a pizza pan. And on top of the pizza pan is a uh, paper towel tube, which is centered. So the paper towel tube's kind of like over the middle of the cup. And then on top of the paper towel tube, we have an egg. an egg. And the name of this activity is the egg drop. The egg drop. So you 
should have drawn your little cup with a pizza pan and a paper towel tube and sitting on the top is the egg. And you know, a model is really just a picture unless you put some labels in there. So go ahead and label the different parts. We've got an egg up here. We've got a paper towel tube. You have to also fill the water in the cup. Okay, yep, thank you. We've got a cup with water. And the pizza pan does have kind of a, like lips on the end of it, like a little um, kind of curve up at the end. Cup with water, and we've got a pizza pan. And this isn't, um, this isn't necessary for the um, actual experiment itself or demonstration itself, but I do have some shower curtain laying down at the bottom just in case. And there's one more thing, uh, a broom, a very sturdy wooden handled broom. So you can draw that as well. All right. All right. I'm going to come around and take a look at your models. Remember, you don't have to be an artist to be a scientist, but you do have to be specific. Okay. You can take as much room as you need to draw your models. Okay. Great. And while I'm talking, if you're still labeling, just keep labeling. So today I present to you a challenge, just like we've done in the past, a little bit of science through inquiry, which means that uh, we're kind of questioning things and wondering about things and we're going to do some stuff to try and figure things out and we're going to act like scientists today um, because there is a solution to this challenge that I'm about to give you, but I want you to figure out what it is before I tell anybody. I'm not going to tell anybody. We're just going to crack some eggs and see what happens. Uh, all right, so here's your challenge. And I'd like you to write it in words. There should not be, a, it could be very brief, little bulleted challenge, okay? Your challenge is to um, get the egg in the water, right? But you are only allowed to use this broom. You may not come in contact yourself. Your hands may not touch the pan, the paper towel tube, the egg, the cup. Your hands may not touch anything. The only thing your hands, body, whatever, are, is allowed to touch is the broom. Okay? So, that's your challenge. What do you think? How many people think they can do it? Hmm, interesting. Okay. So, it is true that some scientists just jump right in and they just try things out, right? But we want to have some proof and evidence because we've talked much, many, many times about evidence and the importance of being able to explain what you're doing, why you're doing it, why you chose to do something. And I know that your little brains right now are just flooded with these uh, ideas of how you want that egg to get into the cup and you just know what to do. But I'm going to need you to prove your plan to me, okay? So we're going to do a couple of mini experiments first just to have some experience with something like this, okay? So the first thing that you're going to have is, and you can, a little bit uh, more room if you need another piece of paper, side of it or whatever, if you have a <laughs> double spread open. Um, we're going to call this one the nickel stack. All right. And if I can have one person from each table pick up, one person from each table, come around and don't touch the shower curtain. So come around back here to me. You're going to pick up materials for your table. Don't open up the materials just yet. You're going to take enough for your table. One for each person at your table, please. Thank you. Next time I have a material pickup, just make sure it's somebody else. Oh, get enough for the people at your table. There's a, there's a nickel stack bag for everyone. 
Okay, so the idea with the egg drop is we want to get the egg in the cup without doing anything except for touching that broom, using the broom. Now with the nickel stack, you will have four nickels and a plastic knife. Here is my disclaimer, general safety rules. Please do not do anything with a knife other than use it for scientific purposes. Do you understand? Thank you very much. Okay, so, so, four nickels and a plastic knife. Now here's the model, okay? You're gonna stack your four nickels up on top of each other. It's a beautiful model. Stack your four nickels up on top of each other in a perfect stack. Let me do that. Go ahead, draw it and do it. Four nickels, if you want it to be more like a, something like this, with the four nickels. There we go. That's a little prettier than my first stack. Here's what I need you to do. Okay, ready for the challenge part of this? Okay. You may want to, um, we kind of move your notebook to the side, but here's the deal. What did we do when we were making our circuits? Every time, every time we tried to light the light bulb, what did I tell you you had to do? Write down. Zoe? We had to write it down. We had to write down what you did. Why? What was the purpose for that? Emerson? To explain how you did it. To explain how you did it, or even to record. Um, like, if you did it, if you did it. <coughs> Or right, use the word that we like to use in science. If you failed, right? If you failed and you were wrong and you did not come up with a valid way to make a circuit, we wanted you to write down so that you can come up with some, with like almost a don't do it this way list, right? So, every time you try to solve the nickel stack challenge, I'd like you to kind of just real bulleted, real short, write down what you tried, okay? But here's the deal. I would like for you to remove the bottom nickel okay but you must keep the others stacked I would like for you to remove the bottom nickel, but you have to keep the top three stacked together, almost like you're not disturbing them. Now, the only tool that you have available to do this is your plastic knife. Your fingers should not come in contact with the nickel, only with the plastic knife. So, um, let's see, six minutes to try, test, record. Um, and then we'll share at our tables if anybody was successful. All right, if you do it, scientists, scientists have to be able to repeat. You are not, I'm sorry, oh, you know what class? Yes. Okay. You should only be coming in contact with the bottom nickel. You should not be disturbing the top three nickels. I needed to make that more clear. If you need to write that note down for yourself, go ahead. You should only be contacting the bottom nickel. Alrighty. Oh, top stack's, top stack's bothered. Your top stack is off kilter. Nope, top stack is, you don't want that top stack to become a little staircase. Oh yeah, it's not meant to be easy, dude. Oh, I kind of think you're on the right track. What if you um, didn't use the thickest part of your knife? Did you touch the top? Show it to me. Because you know scientists can repeat. I'm done. Show it to me again. I did it. Oh, you got a staircase going on. <laughs> <laughs>
Top stacks touched. All right, try it again. Try it again. Back to the drawing board. So maybe you can record that like uh, a light push doesn't really do it. Show me. Ooh, top stack's looking kind of wobbly there. Okay, what's wrong with the top stack there? Okay, try to do it without getting any of them off. Done. Dang it. Missed it. Nope, nope. That top stack is a wobbly. Have you done it before? Yeah. Show me how you did it. Oh, I see Orion recording some. I, I see Orion recording her trials and what she's been doing. That's what I want you to do. Because believe it or not, class. Yes. Believe it or not, we should be able to use this accumulated information to help us with that egg drop at the end. I actually did it. Yeah, you're touching the top stack. You're only allowed to touch the bottom nickel. Oh. Okay. Don't get you the same thing if it's not working. All right, Orion, what'd you think? Oh, gosh. Oh, I have a fail. <laughs> look, look, look. My knife shot the bottom one and we ended up way over here and easily toppled over. Well, show me. I went like this. I went like this. I tried to do a fast fail. Hmm. Yeah, what if, fast. you see how thick this part of your knife is? What if you tried to do the other side of your knife? I didn't do I the other side. Oh, my God, Nar. That was so interesting. Oh, wow, that's about to work, though. Uh, Try the same method, different side of your knife. Okay. See, I, I do that. Oh, yeah. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Got it. I see that. It's pretty good. Pretty good there. Yeah, it wasn't perfect. All right, do it again. Show your table mates. Well, I could try to silver it over again. It's just sort of where you put your hand. Well, okay. If you put your hand really well down, right. you have a uh, wider axis or whatever you call it. You have a wider scope right. frame. Okay. All right. Um, class? Yes. All right. So I'm thinking that we're really going to have to, for those of you that are just so into taking those notes, I'm, I'm noticing who's earning some perseverance points here. Right? You know you can earn a perseverance point on class dojo. That's your don't give up. I know that some of you are struggling and that top stack just keeps a waver in, but okay, but you see, do you see the joy on Nicholas's face now that he got it? Yes. All right, you want to feel that and you won't feel it. You won't feel it unless you struggle first. Okay, so now I'm going to allow you two minutes because at each table there has been some success. So I would like for... I would like for you to share at your table some of the ideas. Okay, how'd you do it? Okay. Do it again. Can you try it? What was the main difference between what you did? I did it like you did it really fast, huh? Yes. You did it. And then I thought, one time I did it with the needle block, but I had to go really fast. So, Skyla, Skyla, had, Skyla has had some success, so try what she did. I found out how to do it. Okay, show me. Cool. It worked. So, I found out how to do it. I hit it again. Come on. How about, okay, so I noticed this is what I'm watching a lot of you do. I'm watching a really slow movement, okay? And for the most part, the slow movement is having a little bit of success, but what keeps happening to the top three nickels? Oh, you're trying to go different angles? Okay, what's the skinniest part of my knife? Right here. Okay, this would be the skinniest part of my knife. 
what if you attacked it? See, I'm noticing some of you have written notes about like the slow move or the angle changing is not really working. So what if we tried something really close to the table and really quick? Let's try it. Try it a couple times. Do it again. That would probably be one of your most successful ones, huh? Class? Alright, I really love the way that group number five is seated on their bottoms because this is an experiment we can do at our tables. And when I say class, you say yes and you freeze and give me eye contact. Class? Yes. Thank you. What I need to happen is I need your tables to be talking so you're not disturbing other tables. You can share, but you can't share super loudly, okay? You're at your small tables together. Um, one more minute, and then we're moving on to another mini experiment. Take another minute, okay? Yeah, you did. Quick. I did it! Miss Pin like that. Mouth cuts it perfectly. This is the mouth cut. Miss Pin, I barely did it. I barely did it. It's okay. Alright, show me. Guys, I did it like Malcolm, Malcolm, let us, everybody here, watch Malcolm do it. I did see it. You can't hold it flat, though. You have to hold it. Yeah, because there's a gap. Okay, all right, all right, show. Nickel, gone. I can do it with the other three. Yeah. Okay, close. Is that right? Class? Yes. Okay. I don't want to hear the tinkle, tinkle, tinkle of, uh, of nickels. All right, Malcolm. We're going to try to have you come and show it up on the document camera. Okay, but here's the deal. If you don't want to lose a point, you are watching, okay? Even if you've had success yourself, I've noticed that Malcolm has had some success, so I would like for him to share here under the document camera what he did, and we're going to see if we can get that to work. Now, you might not be able to see perfectly, but here's his hand right here. Here's his stack of nickels, and I want you to see what he does with the knife. Did you see the stack of nickels move much? Yeah. Oh my God. Just the barely, barest amount. And I watched him do it and it didn't even move hardly at all. What did you see happen with the knife, Jane? I did it. Excuse me. He put his finger and bent it against the table. Okay. So that there's a flat area. Okay. And then, and then slid it really fast. Slid it really fast. All right. 30 seconds. Try that method. Okay, interesting. Class? Okay. Okay. So, I heard Allison say experiment 18 was a success. And I heard Joshua say experiment 6 was a success. And I saw him have those nickel stacks, like, all drawn on his paper with a little thing next to it. That is some real scientific work going on there because he's going to have a lot to refer to when it's time to come up with an egg drop plan. Class. Yes. Thank you. I'd like you to put all four nickels into the bag, but don't put away your plastic knife. And I'd like you to have a new person take the stacks of nickel bags to the back table to pick up more materials. Don't disturb the egg. Don't disturb the egg.
All right. You are going to need a penny for each person at your table and a card for each person. A card for each person, a penny for each person. Just leave your nickels right there. Okay, everybody gets a cup. You trying this, Mr. Mixon? Everybody gets a cup. Everybody gets a cup. Thank you, Jalen. That's what it does with me. Everybody gets a cup. Everybody gets a cup. Everybody gets a penny at your table, so you need how, four or five of each based on your table. Oh, I, I already gave your table cups. All right, thank you, Orion, for sitting quietly with your uh, materials. Thank you, table number one, for sitting quietly with your materials and not playing around with them. Okay, so we have done the nickel stack, and now we're going to do... Oh, quick, help me make some connections here. Um, what could the what could the plastic knife have been uh, compared to in our egg drop experiment? What do you think the plastic knife could be compared to, uh, Malcolm? The tray. The plastic knife could be compared to the tray. Okay. What do you think, Gavin? On the broomstick. Could possibly be compared to the broomstick. What do you think the nickels? What do you think that bottom nickel could be compared to? What do you think the bottom nickel could be compared to, Nicholas? Possibly the cup. Okay or the tray. Okay, so the next mini experiment that you're going to do is the, oh, okay, do you have one? Everyone should have one. Is the penny drop. All right. You have three, four ingredients for the penny drop. You have a cup. I would like to you I would like for you to place on top of the cup the index card. I would like for you to place right in the center of the index card the penny, and I would like for you to just hold the plastic knife. So this would be the cup, index card, and penny. Can we place the penny wherever we want? Right in the center, please. And the index card should be covering up the cup. Covering up the cup, no gaps. Thank you, thank you. Okay, go get five at the back table, Joseph. Thank you. All right, so here's the deal. Lily, Lily, be patient. Here's the deal. You are only allowed to touch the index card with the knife and you need to get that penny into the cup. Okay? Uh, oh. Try it. Record. Try again if you are unsuccessful. And most importantly, use the nickel stack as reference. What did you learn from the nickel stack? Go ahead and give it a try. No, you cannot touch the penny. You are only allowed to touch the index card. Oh, no, you touch the penny. Oh, so I can do it right here, Nate? No. Okay, that's fine. So, remember that the ultimate goal of this is for these little mini experiments to help us solve the egg drop. So what would the index card be like? The tray. The tray. Do you think I could take the broom handle and very carefully nudge yes. the tray? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm. Just keep working. Try a different way. That's fine. I, I You're fine. I did one. It's really easy. All you have to do is just move the card around. 
Yeah, but you can't do that with a tray. Oh, I did it! Okay. When Malcolm was doing this, all he did was just like this, right? Yep, real quick. I'm doing it a hundred times. Yeah, you're supposed to move it. Very hard. Okay. 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 Okay
hit you the, like the really, what really fast? Hit the paper really fast. Hit the it paper will, really fast? From the corner. Okay, do you think you can bring that up to the document camera and no, show that's that to us? Trick. She stole what the heck is? Oh, do, we, do scientists steal? Yes. No. no. Yes. Scientists communicate with one another and come up with ideas. <laughs> All right, she's going to try it. Is there a guarantee? No. No. Okay, so let's see what she's doing. Sometimes if you kind of hit it like that here. That's what we do. What were you about to do with the knife there, though, that I saw you going to flick it? Like. Oh, but you just like It's okay. It's okay. All right, try it again. Flick it or. You, like, however you'd like. However you'd like. Okay, Penny is in the cup. The cup is dropped, but uh, do you think the cup would have fallen over if we had water in it? No. Probably not. Would have been a little bit more weight to it. Yeah. Okay, so I want everyone to try this. Just 30 seconds. Um, hit that card hard and see if the penny drops in. I'm going to have uh, Zoe sitting very quietly. Zoe, can you go pick up everybody's um, cup and knife for me? India's sitting very quietly. If you can go pick up everyone's card and penny. Oh, that was very sweet of you, India. Orion, go ahead and pick up everyone's uh, card and penny. And be real careful to stay off the shower curtain in the back. Now, here we go. We've had two little mini experiments. <laughs> We have, you know, I, I got to stop real quickly and give some points. I got to stop and give some points because we have had some really, really great work going on. So I'm going to give a point for perseverance because people were not giving up. I'm going to give a point for teamwork. And I'm going to give a point to tables uh, three and five. One, for being consistently quiet. And the rest of you can join them real soon. Okay? All right. It, the most important part is talking is fine. Communication is very important for scientists. The problem is, is when I'm trying to give out a set of directions, I need you paying attention to me. Okay? All right. So, back to... Back to our original challenge. We have done, we have done the nickel stack. We have done the penny drop. We have made some connections to how the parts of that egg drop could relate to each of those. Um, Orion's coming around to get, Orion, you can get everybody's uh, nickels and pennies, thank you. If you guys can just have a stack for them, a stack of them, ready for Orion when she comes by. That'd be real helpful. So now I want you to kind of flip back to where you have your egg drop model. Hmm, interesting. I thought we could stack up some index cards and pennies without cheddar. Thank you. Back to the egg drop. Here's what I want to happen. I've got some eggs. I want each table to come up with a plan that they can reference one of the mini experiments that we're going to try in the back. 
Each table is going to come up with a plan, but you got to work together. You got to come to a consensus. There's an there is a strong chance that there's going to be differing opinions at your table, but you have to decide on which one of your methods has the more evidence for it. So if you come up with a way and you say, well, I think it's going to work because if we do it like this, well, then it's just like the nickel stack, and I think it'll work if we do it that way. Remember, you're only allowed to touch the broom. Now you can use any of your body parts, but the broom is the only thing you're allowed to touch. Okay? Oh yeah, you, I mean, oh, can you do multiple? You'll have to discuss that with your table. And for those of you that I talked to before who have had experience, you are simply lending your questions, not your ideas just yet. Okay? All right, so we will, hmm, 10 minutes. And I would like each group ready to present a plan and I will carry it out for you and we'll see how successful it is. Okay? 10 minutes, go. Sit down. She told him exactly what to do. Okay, how? She said, hold uh, it. Write it. You are only allowed to use the broom. Wait, are we doing it or are you? I will do it, but you're going to tell me what to do. Okay, um, I said, we need to get the So, uh, Oh, wait, the The handle. Yeah. Like we do with the cup and How are you going to do that? Because it's so light. How are you going to do that? It doesn't have any paper towels on it. Can't, oh, there's, that's it. There's no extra materials. Oh, no, that's it. That's all you got. Think through what could happen if you if you do your plan. Think through what could happen. Go. Share. Share some ideas. Thinking. Okay. All right. What are you hoping is going to happen? Oh, you're writing down your own ideas and then you'll share. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. the okay. So you're you're suggesting that if you hit the pan, the egg is gonna fall onto the broom, and you think and if you hit the paper towel, the egg's gonna fall. Yeah, you have to kind of be right there underneath it and be delicate to put it around here, and then with the other end, you take it this way, really delicately. And you take I don't know how delicate I could be. So you're saying that I have to masterfully like hit the paper towel tube, get the egg on here, then somehow move the paper, the, move the pan, and drop this in. No, there's an. All right, write it up. Write down my steps. Write down my steps. We're going back and forth between slow and steady or just having a go at it. Just having a go at it? No, we're not sure. I'm asking for Mr. Mixon's an idea. So, like, make this a bat? Yeah. Right. We're having things we should go slow and steady with the bristles. So. Okay. Well, there is a table that's already talked about slow and steady, so maybe you guys could go with the bat method. Maybe Jane wants to question some more. Yes. Should we do a model? Yes, please draw a model of it.
Okay, draw a model of what I'm gonna have to do when you guys come back there. Wait, Malcolm's I a did. bad liar. Malcolm's a really bad liar. I told her no, and she's oh. still dead. Malcolm's she, just she, like, and then she so goes, are you if we have, so if we have experience, right? Question and help them to make the connection to the things you've already done. Okay. You ready? Okay. I've got table five ready, table four is ready, table three is ready with the plan. You guys are ready with the plan. Table two is still discussing, so the rest of you can go ahead and make sure your plan's written out for me to see when you guys come back there. We can say, can we tell it to you? Wait, our, you write it down. I wrote it down. I did. It's just not Excellent. Paper towel. But it's not like catch leg. Put, 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 put it back on the pan. We have to put it back on the pan. It's a lot of steps there. Yeah, yeah but, but you don't catch it. Egg safety. If I don't catch it, it's not your problem? No. It's not our problem because hmm. we know how to catch it. Oh, yeah? Yeah? All right. Oh, what's that part? Yeah. This? Yeah. Um. I don't know, the stitching? Stitching? Oh, we need to put the egg. Wait, can you hold that up real quick? We need to put the egg about right here. And then it's supported. Because this is not very supported. But we gotta okay. get the egg. You're terrible. Class? Yes. All right. Let's try this. I'm going to allow table number one to come and explain to me how. But here's the deal, when they're presenting how we're going to do it, okay, hold on a second, when they're explaining how we're going to do it, that you have to have some evidence that proves to me using our other two models. So I all decided that we should not the thing, but like have your broom right underneath it. Mm -hmm. And then you put the thing on, you put the egg on here so it doesn't get knocked off and you tap this delicately so the egg does not crack. And then whenever you're done, you tilt the pan so the egg falls on the thing, and then you just drop it in with the little Okay, relate it back to, relate it back to something we've done. Emily, relate it back to something we've done. Um, well, the penny chop was kind of similar, how um, the penny chop, where we, you could knock it into the penny into the water. Mm -hmm. um, and then also, just the, the nickel drop is kind of similar. Okay, so I am going to allow the other tables to come back, but here's the deal. You have to kind of stand with your table group, and you have to be able to see it without pushing each other, and you can't touch my kidney table, and you got to stay quiet. So let's go all around. Stay off of my shower curtain. Don't touch the kidney table. So... I am going to knock over the paper towel tube and catch the egg and lay it on the pan and nudge the pan until it gets in. Is this what I'm going to do? Yes, but you have to have a fire. Please just catch Up here? Yes. Okay. I don't think it's going to go the other way. It's going to go the other way. It's going to go the other way. You have to catch it. Okay, we don't touch the egg. <laughs> okay, now Allison is telling me, I asked you not to touch the kidney table back up. Allison is telling me I did it incorrectly, but here's the issue, Allison. It's exactly what you told me to do, number one. But number two, think about an egg. Does an egg have any flat sides to it? No. No. What's going to happen on any flat surface with an egg? It's what? It's going to fall that way. It's going to fall the other way. So what were you saying I should do? Knock it that way, then um, kind of like fastly like put your room on the other oh, side. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's try a different table and see what happens. All right, all right. Group one, valiant effort. I had, there was evidence, but sometimes evidence is not all you need, okay? So. Jacoby, I'm going to ask you to go sit at your table if you do it if you do it again. There should be no bodies in contact with the kidney table, and we're going to go ahead and go to group number um, three.
All right, Emerson, tell me what I'm going to do. Alrighty, so what we decided on was do kind of the same thing, just not, a, but just a different method. So what we would want to do is do the stitching part mm -hmm. um, and do it at the bottom okay. and catch, nope, do it like this way so that it'll hit, like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, Excuse me, Becca? Yeah. Like this way? No, like, you can use like, like, yeah, like how Malcolm's doing it, like that. Oh, okay. like this, oh. Like, yeah. He wants you to jack it. Yeah. Jab, jab it. Jab like it. jab it? And then, and then catch then it with the egg. Oh, okay. Like at the place. You ready? <laughs> and then I'm just gonna like knock the pan down with the other side of my broom or something. What am I? What am I gonna do? Should, yeah. Okay. What is this? This is like jabbing what? Like jabbing what? The this was like jabbing the nickels. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens. Back up. Oh. I do oh, still have the right. egg, but the cup is Wait. over. Yeah, we can't get it. In the so, it's a is the cup? well, they had they had they extended their idea. Don't touch anything. Oh, I was supposed to. Oh, I was supposed to somehow continue to do that. Okay. Well, we're gonna go to a different table, and then we'll come back to that idea if we don't have success. Okay, well, you had time to work in your grooves. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that would have been bad. Okay, it's plastic. All right. Our egg didn't work. Our egg didn't work. Okie dokie. We'll go group number uh, two. Nicholas. I didn't agree on this, but they just said, whap it with the broom as hard as you can, hit the pan, and, like, slide it. Okay, how am I going to do that? Back up. How am I going to do that? Back up. I, they said, like, wrap it with the broom, hit the pan with the broom, like, make it. Like, like a baseball? Yeah. That? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you win. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, what if I miss? Okay. How can I be more you accurate? Know, yeah. Perhaps, yeah. Perhaps, yeah. perhaps, oh, hit it with this yeah. side? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Totally gonna work. She's getting ready. She's like, yeah. yeah. She's like, yeah. Yeah. Back, up. Back, back up. up. back 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 Group number five. It almost went. Four. Oh, class. One thing I'm noticing here, it's, it's raining. Uh, one thing I'm noticing is that egg was the closest to the cup that any of the other ones have been, isn't it? Mm. All right, however, we are going to, oh, we need a little bit more water. Water, please. Yes. Go ahead, Paige. Okay, but hold on a second. I still have a couple more tables to go, but table five's idea was very, very close to table two's idea, but the way that they chose to use the broom was different. So, we're going to go ahead and try table five's Wait, idea. Don't me. I'm oh table my. Oh, right <laughs> Come on. Trader. All right, back it up. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. It's not completely full, but. That's fine. It'll do, I guess. Oh. It's yeah. raining. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Good luck like cleaning it up. You all clean this up. All right, here we go. So their idea was to put your foot down on the bristles and then pull it back and hit that thing, causing the egg to go in there. And that would just well, she's done all Ready? Uh -uh. No, they came over. Yeah. I'm not sure how to do it. You can't even stop right now. Oh, my God! 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 Oh, my God!
and there are people in this room who have had a little bit of experience with this, but but they linked it to some evidence, which was important in their group. Okay, I'm going to ask y'all to walk back to your seats. You didn't do us. I'm going to ask you to walk back to your seats before I do the last group because it's getting a little while back here. You made a Get it straight. All right. So, I didn't even understand it. Was your idea any different from the ones that we'd already done? Yes. How? Because our plan was, um, it was kind of like you hit, it was, little, it was like a little different. You hit the pan. You hit no, not the pan. You hit the um toilet paper thingy, and what? you Whoa. catch it on the black string where it is, and that's no, more no, that's no, more of a um place where it could stay. It's more steady. And once you do that, you take the um other end of the broom, hit it, and then drop the egg. Well, we the did layer. we did try that with with oh, table no. three's method. It, yeah, we tried something super close to it. Um. The last group was the closest. Obviously, we were uh, not 100% successful. It did kind of crack on the side of the cup, but it's in the cup, right? Okay. What was the key to what was the key to the last groups? What was the key? Force. What kind of force? Force of energy, and then how they pulled it back. Right. And then when they let go of it, when the tray it hit, and then the, the egg. So almost like um, like Paige was mentioning before in the grit momentum. It had to have a lot of momentum behind it, a lot of force behind it, and gravity. What about gravity? Because when when it was when they were pulling the part of the <coughs> room back, mm -hmm. when they let go of it, that's how. That's how gravity caused that when the egg flew in there. Okay. Okay. Gravity, because the egg's just going to drop because mm -hmm. the egg was sitting there. Okay. We are going to link this to some ideas of force. So I want everyone to have their models drawn. I want everyone to have their models drawn. Before I have a chance to do any other group's idea, group four, uh, since it was pretty close to group three, we're going to call it for right now. I'll see if we can get that area cleaned up and perhaps do it tomorrow, OK? Um, I want to make sure that you reflect on what we just did today. So if you would please write at the end of our, all of our experiments, I'd like you to put down just a few key things that you learned today, either about yourself as a group member, about force and motion, about the mini experiments linking to the big experiment. I'd like you to go ahead and reflect two or three sentences. Show me you're ready to move on when your reflections are closed and you have an AR book out on your desk. Thank you. Sure, go get it. I told you. You can, well, no, you, you guys had a plan and you saw all those plans acted back there. So you can still reflect on all that. And you're also reflecting on the entire experience, not just the end result. You're reflecting on the entire experience, not just the end result. And remember, this is just our unit opener. We have lots more to learn about force, but we're going to be coming back to this a lot during the unit. OK? All righty. Go ahead, Lanaya. When you're done with your reflection, you can go ahead and put your science journals away. We're going to use it as review for the next time we, we talk, about, uh, talk about force and motion. We'll go over our reflections as review. And you can actually go ahead and trade out for your little readers. And we're going to move on to reading. <laughs>